Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to come up with the absolute worst guitar tone that I possibly can. I will then tweak one element at a time, slowly changing that awful tone into an amazing tone. Now let me just put this out there in advance. If you end up disliking my amazing tone, here's what I have to say to you, pal. You know, that's totally fair, tone is subjective. I'm just trying to do my best to come up with something that I like. If you don't like it, I can respect that. Before we get into it though, why don't we do a flash sale over my course platform. The first 50 of you to use promo code BADTONE will get 50% off any individual course of your choice over at SamuraiGuitarTheory.com. Over there, I have four courses. You can learn music theory from the ground up with my courses, The Rudiments and Beyond the Basics. I have a course that outlines pentatonics and my newest one, The Craft of Soloing, looks at the bigger musical elements of soloing, the type of stuff that takes you from simply playing notes to making music. Every course is a one-time purchase, giving you lifetime access. Use promo code BADTONE to get 50% off any individual course of your choice. There's only 50 of those promo codes available. They'll probably run out in a day or two. So get them while the getting's good. You can find more information over at SamuraiGuitar3.com. I'll also put up links in the description. Okay, to kick things off, I'm gonna come up with the absolute worst tone that I can. And for that, I'm gonna use the good old trusty Squire Stratocaster. This is the guitar that I started on when I was 13. I had a blue one of these and I would mangle pop punk cover songs as I lamented the struggle of a teenager growing up in upper middle class suburbia. Good times back in the 90s. So many of us plunked out our first songs on one of these. It's an entry level guitar with an entry level price and an entry level sound. And to make matters worse, I suspect that the strings haven't been changed in, I don't know, 20 years. For this, I'm going to plug it directly into my audio interface, giving us that awful DI guitar sound. Here's what that sounds like. All right, that was really quite hurting. We got to get a real amp involved here. Everybody starts on some small little solid state thing like this one. I started out with a Squire amp. This is pretty close. It's not gonna sound great, but it should be a fair bit better than that DI sound. Here we go. I mean, that was better, but it was still quite bad. It's time to step up the game in a big way and use a real amp. The amp that I'm gonna be using is this guy here. It has no serial number. It has no model number. It has no brand name, and it was built by my dad. It's the perfect amp for the sounds that I gravitate towards. It's got a single 12 inch speaker. It's got a beautiful clean channel. It takes pedals well. Here is what a cheap guitar sounds like going through it. So that is a world of difference. Probably the biggest jump that we're gonna see. But for this next step, I've swapped out the Squire for my Fender Rarity Strat. This isn't some vintage custom shop thing or anything like that, but it's professional grade. It's high quality. Here's what this guitar sounds like through that amp. We're getting somewhere here. This is the tone that I can get behind. Next up, let's add some compressor. I almost always have this pedal turned on. In a nutshell, it turns up your guitar when you're quiet and it turns it down when you're loud, essentially compressing your signal. For lack of a better term, to me it sounds like you're teaming your guitar signal. Here's what it sounds like. As far as clean sounds go, I'd say that's pretty all right but let's add some distortion to the mix because that's always a good time. For that, I'm gonna be running the Mythos Golden Fleece into the Thorpey Gunshot. This is what I call the Chris Buck sound because I heard him use these two pedals in a video the other day and I decided then and there that I just simply couldn't live my life unless I also own them, so I impulse bought them. Influencer marketing got the better of me that time and I'm okay with that. Here's what it sounds like. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna add the atmospheric effects, reverb and delay. This makes your guitar sound like it's in an open space, giving it some depth, which for whatever reason, the ear likes to hear. For delay, I'm using the Demodash T120. And by the way, if you're interested in any of these pedals, I'll put up links to them in the description. Um, and for my reverb, I'm using this spring reverb unit. 
That was also a Samurai Dad special. Um, it's just a spring reverb unit that sounds pretty good with actual springs in it. I don't go too heavy on these effects at this point. It's more just a small sprinkling of spice. I'm gonna be adding some more atmosphere in the next stage, but let's see what this sounds like. <laughs> So at this point, that's as good of a sound as I'm getting into my amp. Oh, and I should also mention the microphone that I have on that amp is a Sennheiser 421. But uh, next, we're gonna need to move into the digital realm. Now, I should give you a disclaimer. I am by no means a mixing engineer. This is not my specialty, but I'm gonna show you what I do to get my guitar sounding good enough to me. As you can see, I use Pro Tools, and this waveform that we're looking at here is the last recording of the guitar that I did. The first thing that I'll do in Pro Tools is create an aux reverb track and I'll send a portion of my guitar over to the stereo reverb track where I have the Valhalla Vintage Reverb plugin set up. The fact that this track is in stereo brings the reverb to life. It's slightly different in both ears, so it sounds that much bigger. I can do something similar with delay, but in this plugin I change it so that the delay on the right side is timed slightly different than the delay on the left, so you can really feel the stereo space. I'll play it back for you right now. I'll start with the dry signal, then add the reverb, and then the delay. Take a listen. <laughs> And the last thing I'll do is add some digital EQing and compression to my guitar file. My method here is kind of a mixing faux pas, but it's what I do, it works for me. I will just add the Neutron 3 plugin, select a preset and maybe tweak it a little bit. Ideally, you would manually do all of this and wouldn't use presets, but I'm a busy guy who doesn't really enjoy mixing all that much and the majority of you people are watching my videos on your phones. So if you're me, you gotta use your time wisely. Here's what this sounds like. I'll start it without this plugin turned on and then turn it on halfway through. Take a lesson. That's as good of a tone as I'm gonna get. I've come a long way in a number of gradual steps. So what I'm gonna do now is play you a solo and I'm gonna start out with my horrible sound and then every two bars I will alter my tone taking the same steps that I took throughout this video so that you can hear each stage one after another. Take a listen as I go from a bad sound to a good sound. Here are a couple thoughts on this. Apart from the drastic changes like turning on the overdrive or switching amps, everything was fairly subtle, but it did add up over time. Was it the greatest guitar sound ever recorded? I'm not certain about that. Uh, one thing I am certain on is that it sounds a lot better than what I started with. But here's the thing, it's all very much subjective. I'm sure there'll be somebody in the comments who says that the Squire paired with the Trainer was their favorite sound, and there'll be other people who really enjoyed the final product. I mean, whatever you like is whatever you like. Live your life as you see fit. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Bad tone to good tone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, if you use promo code BADTONE over at my course platform, samurigitar3.com, you can get 50% off any individual course of your choice. There are only 50 of those available. They will run out. Get them while the getting's good. 
Thank you all for watching. If you want to check out another video like this one, hit that link up there. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, to stay tuned for a wide range of musical content. Until next time, be good to each other, be good to yourselves, be good to the planet. I'm Sam Ray, guitarist, and I'll see you again soon.